In addition to video effects, Final Cut Pro includes a number of audio effects, which you can see at the bottom of the effects browser here. And in a similar way, we're going to look at a couple of these audio effects. But just like you can manipulate the way video looks, you can also manipulate the way your sound sounds. And you can change the music, the room tone, all of this to make things sound a specific way. So looking at these audio effects, the first one I want to show you here that's at the top is channel EQ. And when you apply a channel EQ effect, which we'll apply to this same clip we've been manipulating, I can go up here into the audio inspector. I can go here to the audio inspector and I'll see that channel EQ effect has been applied. There are a couple presets that I can use to EQ this or adjust the audio. So for example, when you're working with music, many different instruments and the vocals have a way to EQ them to make them sound better. And this is all opinion based, but certain things will sound better when you add EQ to it a certain way. Now if you apply drum EQ to this dialogue clip that's in our video, it may not sound better, it may sound worse, but there are ways to go through and manipulate with these presets. So one I want to point out is there's a whole mastering category here, and this can be very helpful when you're working with a final mix of your entire video. If you're applying this to the entire clip there, there's ways to um, kind of make the whole thing sound a little bit better or a little bit different here. So with this, with the audio effects, this may seem pretty straightforward. There are some parameters down here we can see that just goes on forever. So the way a lot of audio engineers like to work with audio is using an application called Logic. Logic is a professional audio editing application. Similar to how we have iMovie, which is a basic video editing application, and you're using Final Cut Pro, which is the advanced version of that, you might have seen GarageBand, which is a basic version of, of Logic. And so editors that are working with audio might start out using GarageBand, and then when they go more into professional audio, they then start working with Logic. Well, Logic is designed and developed by Apple, just like Final Cut Pro is also developed by Apple. So you get the benefit as a Final Cut editor of having access to a lot of the effects and plugins from Logic right here inside of Final Cut Pro. So as an example, if you click on this little button next to channel EQ, you'll actually see the entire interface for adjusting EQ in this window. And you can go on to this and make all kinds of adjustments uh, however you want to. Dr drawing on these, you can use the analyzer to go through and analyze the audio to see where things should be. And you can also then go through here and select these presets. So for example, if I select one of the drum, let's say the rim snare drum one, you can see it applies that preset right here in the visuals. And this is the changes that it's making to the EQ. Now, if you're following along, apply some of these, play back the audio, you'll hear how this, these make changes and adjustments to it. This course is not going to cover the details of audio editing and what all of these uh, little parameters and changes mean because that is an entire profession. You can go to school for years to learn all about this stuff here. But I just want to show you that this is cap the capabilities of Final Cut allows you to get in that detailed to manipulate those audio effects. Now, in addition to that, if you go to distortion here, there are some ways to distort the audio, which might be a little bit more easier to digest. For example, there's a car radio effect, and this is coming from Final Cut, but this is a car radio effect, which if you play this back, it makes audio sound as if it's playing through a low quality car radio. So I'm gonna apply this to my clip here. I can see that uh, has been added here inside of the uh, inspector. I have some presets that I can use. Some maybe want it to sound like it's a cheap speaker. If I wanted to, I could see the channel EQ, which was the EQ we were just looking at a second ago, but how it changed it. And the clip distortion, I can see that plugin, and I could go through here and manipulate all these parameters to make very custom changes to them. But even with just using the built-in preset, let's hear how uh, this changes the sound. Uh, it distances you from people. Yeah.
keep secrets. Yeah, nah. No, Good. it distances you from people. Yeah. And you can't keep them forever. Nah. <laughs> Going along with the video effect, like we're looking through those night vision goggles, right when we switch over, the audio changes as well. So actually, I didn't plan this, but going through that radio actually works pretty well because it's distorting the audio as if we're listening to someone who's watching from a distance, kind of someone's creeping in on this little scene here, and they're listening through some, some really cheap uh, uh, microphones and speakers there. So um, that's an example of some distortion audio effects that are there. You also have some echo EQ options are listed here to... Uh, apply some of the things we saw earlier, but channel EQ is, is the most common one that's there. You have some limiters in, that are very commonly used uh, in audio and, and especially with our, our videos here that you might use. And uh, compressors as well. If you are if you have any knowledge of audio uh, editing and, and details there, these words will make sense as far as using a limiter or using a compressor. Uh, and really you want your sound person to edit all this stuff, but you can go in and, and play with some of these and get used to them. Uh, one though that I find a lot of editors don't know about but should be using is one called Spaces. Spaces is pretty cool because this actually lets you manipulate the audio as if it was recorded in a specific type of space. Think of this like a room. So there's actually spaces for cathedral, large room, medium room, a bunch of different types of rooms here. So you can actually use those to just apply it to your audio. And you could have recorded a voiceover inside of a sound booth. So it's a very, you know, all, all you hear is the person's voice. But applying one of these will make it sound as if it was recorded in that type of a room. So for example, let's take a look at this whole clip here. I'm going to play it back without any effect with the spaces. But let me give you a little bit of free advice. Okay. Don't keep secret. And it's, it is what it is, but let's make it sound as if it was recorded in a cathedral. And just listen to how this changes that audio. But let me give you a little bit of free advice. Okay. Don't keep secrets. Yeah, no. no it dis you can hear kind of that echo and that really hollow sound that you get out of being in a cathedral where you have those really high ceilings and the, the echoing can happen there. So that was added just from one of these audio effects. And um, it's pretty cool. But one of the things I want to point out in spaces here, and this is the power of having access to Logic's uh, tools, is there's this thing called the Space Designer. This is not just a preset, although you have presets that you can use for these different rooms. This gives you access to the Space Designer tool, and you can go in and, and manipulate all of these different parameters here. So if we wanted a large room, I can select that, and you'll see how it changes those parameters Or versus a small room. It's making those adjustments with the reverb and all of these various uh, parameters here. So don't hesitate to dig down into these audio effects because it, it really is a lot of power that you have access to inside of Final Cut. However, just like video effects, the order that you apply those audio effects in matters. So as you apply different effects, uh, you can change the order of these effects, and then it'll apply, in this case, the cathedral effect, and then the space designer effect. So just make sure that you're applying effects in the correct order, and if you don't want an effect, click on it, hit delete, and you can go back to having no effects on there. Another thing, both with video and audio effects that you have when you apply an effect on the, you, we might make all kinds of adjustments to this effect uh, to make it sound a specific way. But with video and audio effects to the right, you do have this little drop down menu that lets you reset any of these parameters. So don't hesitate to mess around with them. You can always go back and reset the parameter back to the default and start over with manipulating these.